All right, it has been several weeks since we made any progress on these beds uh, because work's been crazy, life's been crazy, all the things. And in typical Bedford's fashion, we now have different plans than we did when we started. <laughs> and that that just means that it's been so long that this process has been ongoing that we have done more research and just changed our mind about how we want to do things. So we're going to do some things different than what I had talked about uh, earlier in this video. We are going to still make the beds out of the same boards. And I'll give you the updated moisture reading now that they've just been sitting here drying even longer than they did where they were sitting outside. So if we just go in the end of this one, we're at 11. If we go on the top of this one, we're at 13. And then let's see, we'll go in the end. We'll go in the end of this one here. 9.4 and this one 9.9 14 so, hey, so you, can, you can see there's still a little bit of variety still using the same boards and they're nice and dry ready to go but my wife was doing some research into just the whole making raised beds process and we discovered that not only was it not a good idea to use any kind of treated wood, which I think we already knew, but it was also not a good idea to treat untreated wood with a typical uh, product you might would use on a deck or just general, you know, for general outdoor wood use. So um, any kind of just clear coat, polyurethane, anything that would just penetrate in and, and uh, seal the wood because something like that could leach out into the soil and uh, you know poison or just mess up your plants and we're trying to grow things that we're going to eat like vegetables and stuff jalapenos and things like that so we looked into some basically food safe treatment products and a lot of them are really expensive especially i mean we got like tongue oil was an uh, easy one but you need to do a lot of coats and there's some other you know eco food safe all that kind of thing like treatments specifically for like raised beds but they're just really expensive and we're trying to do this on a budget and not spend a ton of money so what we ended up finding was some uh this guy had done uh the shoshugi bond method which is using a torch and actually burning the wood and i've seen that used uh in construction before um I've seen people do that on like to treat decking but i've also seen somebody well, well i don't remember where but i saw somebody do that on siding one time and it looks super cool it looks it's not all that different depending on how much you burn it it's not all that different from kind of staining the wood with a dark stain but it will i don't remember what this how the science of it works but basically you burn the surface of the wood and it reduces the rot the um you know insect uh, you know, damage from insects, stuff like that. And then you can treat it with the tongue oil after that. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the Shoshugi Ban uh, burning method. And then we're also going to, I think, do one coat of tongue oil on everything. And that's a relatively inexpensive method to do this. I bought this torch a while ago and I already got it out and tested it on some weeds. It works pretty well. That was. You know, we obviously had to buy that torch and then we'll use some propane. And again, trying to do this on the budget, but we got weeds in a few places that we don't want to use chemicals on because we don't want to damage plants nearby. So buying a torch like that uh, is a legitimate, we decided it was a legitimate expense because we're not gonna just use it for these raised beds and then never use it again. We will use it for weed management, you know, in the driveway or around other plants that we don't wanna hurt with poison or chemicals. So. Now, I'm going to pull all of these out and cut them to length and let's get started. Uh, I guess cut them and then burn them and then treat them. This is the perfect time to break out the Festool HKC, which is essentially a circular saw and a speed square combined into one. Slide it on this track, locks in place, and then it's got this dust bag that can go on it as well. The saw itself does everything a circular saw will do. It will bevel this direction just like a circular. Um, you can also set the depth of it with this lever right here. But it's got these stops on the bottom. This one's fixed, this one's adjustable. So 
so you can slide it up and down so I just stop up and down the scale and set it to any angle you want to make square cuts or wider cuts. Got them all cut and laid out on some OSB to protect the driveway. So now I think we are ready to fire up the torch. Let's start burning. Smell it.
We are using this pure tongue oil. We got two of these uh, 32 ounce containers, so half gallon total. And with that half gallon, I have done essentially exactly half of the boards. So all of these are coated. And then I have yet to do all of these. But we gotta order some more of this because that's how much we have left. Tiniest little bit left. So as long as I'm careful, I'll be able to do this, you know, the second half of the boards with another half gallon of tongue oil and not, you know, run out on the last little tiny bit. So that is going to be the end of this video, I think, because I gotta put all this stuff away. It's gonna rain tomorrow morning. I gotta put all these ones in the basement so that they are out of the way, protected. And when our next batch of tongue oil comes in, I'll get all this stuff out and do the second round or the second half of the boards. And then I don't really know how long it's gonna take this stuff to cure. I might look into that so I know how long I should wait before I start assembling. But then we'll be, the next video is gonna cover, you know, assembly of the beds, um, location of the beds, which is going to be in a different location than we had originally planned. So you'll just have to come back and see where they're gonna be in the next video. So as always, thanks everyone who's watched. Drop a comment if you want to. Let me know if you think it's cool or not. Whatever you wanna do. And we'll see you guys back on the next one to uh, get these things finished up and get started planting some vegetables soon. See ya.